One of the best cars you won't buy is the Volkswagen Ardeon. In fact, it is a travesty. This full-size family hauler is an SUV for people who don't want to drive an SUV because it has a unique style, great comfort, all-wheel drive, and a large cargo area. Additionally, ever since the Ardeon went on sale for the first time in 2019, VW has been working hard to make it better. This year, that is especially true. The Volkswagen Ardeon of 2022 receives a few significant updates that make it better than ever. To begin, the car now comes standard with the appealing R-Line design treatment and a new wheel design in the base SE R-Line trim. For 2022, the cell R-Line will come standard with all-wheel drive and a new wheel option of 20 inches. The most significant change, however, is the addition of a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine and transmission from the ferocious Volkswagen Golf R. This brings the total horsepower to 300, a 32-pony increase over 2021. Additionally, torque rises from 258 lb-ft to 295 lb-ft. Volkswagen replaces the previous 8-speed automatic transmission with a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic in order to manage the additional power. The 2022 Ardeon is definitely more fun to drive thanks to these changes. Aside from that, the Ardeon still provides the kind of practicality only a 5-door hatchback can. When you open the liftgate in the back, the trunk has a big capacity of 27.2 cubic feet. The Ardeon has ample cargo space for a weekend trip to the big box store when the rear seats are folded down. An Audi Q5 SUV has a maximum cargo capacity of just 54 cubic feet so you can get a sense of how much space that is. In relation to Audi, the Ardeon is a respectable alternative to the A5 Sportback with a similar configuration or even the much more expensive Audi A7. Another rival is the BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe. However, the Ardeon is now equipped to compete with the Kia Stinger, which is directly in the VW sites. Find savings on a used Ardeon near you. How does the interior look? The Volkswagen Ardeon, like most mid-size sedans, has a spacious interior with ample legroom everywhere. However, taller people have limited headroom, and the rear outboard seats appear to be a little too bolstered. The rakish roofline also reduces rear headroom, as you might expect. The Ardeon's low stance also limits rear visibility and can make getting in and out difficult. VW's updated digital information screen is simple to use, and most of the primary controls are simple to use. The infotainment menus are a little more cluttered and could be easier to use, 
but it's easy to find the most important controls. How is technology? The tech features of the Ardeon include a digital gauge cluster and a stylish, 8-inch infotainment screen. It has a couple of slick stunts at its disposal, for example, concealing lesser utilized controls when your finger creates some distance from the screen. The navigation map can also be integrated into the digital instrument panel. The voice controls on the system work well and can understand some requests made with speech. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay make it simple to connect your smartphone to the touch screen. The majority of the Ardeon's advanced driver aids operate smoothly and quietly, which is something we appreciate. Fuel Economy How much fuel do you use? The EPA estimates that the all-wheel drive Ardeon gets 25 mpg combined. The model with front-wheel drive gets 28 mpg combined. That is acceptable considering the car's power, but on our 115-mile evaluation loop with the all-wheel drive Ardeon, we got 29.1 mpg. That is an impressive feat of excess. Is the Ardeon worth the money? The Ardeon is a pricey car, but if you want a powerful, well-equipped premium sedan without the luxury label, the price is worth it. The contrasted elements and impressive integration of the technology features give the interior materials and trim an upscale appearance. Additionally, it is one of the few mid-size sedans with all-wheel drive available as an option. For a period of 4 years and 50,000 miles, Volkswagen provides powertrain and basic warranties. That is better coverage than the majority of other automakers offer, but the powertrain coverage is a little less extensive, 